हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अल्सरेटिव लिम्फेंजाइटिस सो दिस लिम्फेंजाइटिस इज मेनली कॉज ड्यू टू द इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द लिम्फ वेसल्स और ड्यू टू एनी इन्फेक्शन इन द लिम्फ वेसल्स सो दे आर कॉल्ड लिम्फेंजाइटिस सो विल सी वट आर दिस लिम्फेंजाइटिस सो इट इज़ अ इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज ऑफ कैटल एंड हॉर्स कैटराइज बाय फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्किन अल्सर्स with involvement of limb vessels of the lower limb so there are skin ulcers formation that's why we call it at ulcerative lymphangitis and mainly this is due to the infections uh, transmitted from the cattles and horse they are mainly caused due to the bacterial infection now we'll see what is the etiology so in etiology in the causative agents are conibacterium pseudotuberculosis then conibacterium equi then pseudomonas aeruginosa so these three are the bacteria group that causes lymphangitis in the human being and they are transmitted from the animals like horse cow goat and so on then the susceptible hosts are that means where these bacteria grow so these primary host host are a disease of horse but sometimes also occurs in cattle so mainly they are occurring in horse but sometimes it can be seen in cattle and the people those are dealing with this cattle they easily get this lymphangitis then we'll see what are the clinical features in cl or clinical finding so Clinical findings are the disease is sporadic in nature and spreads slowly. Sporadic means it is formed by the spores. Then it begins as a moderate diffuse swelling on one of or both the limbs, causing lameness. So uh, slowly and gradually it gets in diffused into the body part and then that is in the skin layer and slowly it causes uh, slowly starts growing and causes swelling and ulceration. nodules formed on the legs break down leading to the formation of ulcers so what are the nodules form on the legs they slowly slowly get break down and forms ulcers on those those regions then thick greenish exudate mixed with blood appear from such ulcers so when those ulcers are formed you can find a thick greenish fluid coming out through that ulcers that is the sign of lymphangitis then how can you diagnose the condition so in that the first is clinical findings so you are going to notice for the signs and symptoms mainly for the green fluid from those ulcerative region then isolation and identification of the organism so you will be isolating the person so that he cannot transmit the disease from himself to another and you will try to find out the causative agent for that you will be going for the blood test to know about the bacteria then for treatment we can go for the a course of antibiotic preferably penicillin 4000 to 8000 unit per kg then surgical drainage of pus material and daily dressing of the wound so this is the only treatment you can give since it is caused by the bacteria so you will be going for the antibiotic and in that you will be giving penicillin to the person then for surgical method you will be doing the drainage so that the pus will be out and then daily dressing to heal the wound then in control or prevention of the disease you can follow strict hygiene and sanitation regular grooming of animals prompt care and treatment of limb injuries so these are the control methods that uh, since we are knowing it is caused by the cattle so we have to strictly maintain the hygiene of ourselves plus where the uh, cattle are kept so we have to clean that area and then uh, proper animal grooming should be done so that there is no bacteria present on them and therefore they will not transfer from them to another person and then we have to take care of the limb injuries so these were the caring actions you can do to have safety from lymphangitis so let's summarize in today's topic we have seen about lymphangitis which is mainly caused due to the bacterial infection transferred from cattle and horse which mainly involves the skin ulcers and caused due to the limb vessels and involves lower limbs then uh there are mainly susceptible hosts in host in this is uh, horse and sometimes in cattle also we can see this disease 
and the main clinical findings you can find in lymphangitis is green exudate or greenish fluid coming out from the ulcerative region mixed with the blood so this is the main clinical finding in diagnosis you will be isolating the patients and trying to know about the clinical finding that is green, greenish exudate and you will try to know about the causative agent then in treatment column if we, since it is caused by the bacterial disease so we will giving the patient a antibiotic that is penicillin that is from 4000 to 8000 units per kg body weight which will help him in treating the disease condition then in surgical condition uh, treatment you can go for the drainage of the pus and in nursing management will be giving daily dressing to the patient to fast recovery of the wound then in control method we have to take the hygiene and grooming of the animals that are kept in our house and we have to take care of our cells in the way uh, we can use proper hygiene and sanitation then if there is any injuries in the limb we have to take care of injuries so that will help us to uh, protect us from the disease condition so thank you to everyone